YouTube, it's Aaron with Sigfrid's Motorworks. Here today we're going to be doing an unboxing video. At the moment we are in the middle of our $1,500 Cafe Racer budget build. So with that in mind, we're obviously addressing a bunch of areas on the bike, one of those things being the rear suspension. Uh, the base model for the bike is a 1992 Honda Nighthawk. After a bunch of research on the Nighthawk forums, we decided to go with this set of RFY rear shocks. Um, initial impression of the packaging, it's about average. I mean, you're, it's what you expect when you're buying a part, which is good because these are a very cheap or economical shop. So I'm impressed that the packaging actually is halfway decent. Um, we purchased these on Amazon. That's where I would recommend getting them. They have the cheapest price, plus they actually have the original RFY brand. One thing, if you are looking for RFY, whether you're on eBay, Amazon, or Google, and you just type RFY in, a lot of other brands of shocks are going to come up that imitate RFY, which is a problem because RFY is already imitating an Owen shock. So, at any rate, um, when you open up the box, you get two spanner wrenches, so make sure you're paying attention, otherwise they can fall out like they just did to me. It goes there. Um, and you will see here too, the styrofoam's broken. Again, just average packaging. Not crazy impressed with that. Pulling them out of the box. Uh, you can come in here and take a closer look at them. You can see the styrofoam's broken, but that's not going to affect anything. The shocks themselves seem like they're okay. But um, at any rate, these are the RFY shocks. They are bagged, so that's going to prevent anything from being scratched. But these shocks are the uh, remote reservoir. Um, one thing with RFY, they are cheap. But if, especially from our reviews, one thing with these shocks is they are rebuildable. There are a lot of guys that buy these shocks from day one, mile one. They pull them apart and they rebuild them. And what that does is it takes it up to almost the same quality of an Olin shock. There are also guys who run them, which is the same plan we do. Which is the same method we plan on doing is we're going to run these shocks. And down the line, if we see that they're starting to perform poorly, we'll pull them apart and rebuild them then. But from our understanding, and we'll find that out once we install them, is they're good enough and they function pretty well, especially considering you're only paying $87 versus spending upwards of $300 for a set of rear shops, especially if you're doing a budget bike build like we are. Um, we did go with the gold. I think we went with 330 millimeter length. So overall, halfway impressed we'll see how they install and we'll see how they look after everything's all said and done but that's an unboxing of the Owen shop if you want to see anything going on with our cafe racer build they'll put links up here there's also links in our description to that build as well so thanks so much for watching please like comment and subscribe